cakes! Oh, heal! Hulk! Abyss! Stop! <laughs> We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. <laughs> Thanks for the hospitality. <laughs> no time to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, buttercup. Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. <laughs> so I think I have like one coin left. Yep. <laughs> okay. The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. What situation? The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. Back away. Back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Hello. Uh, apologies, I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've <laughs> ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. <laughs> These night hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I can find a way across. Ahem. Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard once commanded must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance, of a life or death nature. I stand corrected, and we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. <laughs> oh, what was that addendum again? Addendum 237A states that a royal guard can only leave his post if someone is in distress and is in need of assistance. Okay. Alright, so we gotta figure out another way across. Let's see, so there's a path down here. Come at me, bees! Oh god. Okay. So, there's, uh, two ways to get across the water. You can either use the stones, or if you go this way, you just move forward. <laughs> He's walk across, and this is actually a secret achievement. I'm remembering this wrong. Wait a second. <laughs> Although that's not how you actually get across, so. And then now, we actually have to get, take the actual layer to Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. And this is a person in distress. <laughs> Distress! Abandon post! Distress! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. Nope, me. Wouldn't be the first time I've corrected you. How <laughs> anyone could ever confuse you with me is mind-boggling. Do you ever tire of being wrong? He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. Nope. Me. Don't be rude, boy. We are in the middle of an important conversation. <laughs> he was talking to me. All I right. believe he was talking so, to me. This tired argument tree. is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, dear. Run! They're full armor, though. They're scared of bees. Yo. He's in the water. Thing. You like to save him. <laughs> no, the bees are coming on me now. Ah. <laughs> Yo. Okay. So.
so. I'm gonna go up now. Another horn and another missing piece. Okay, gonna grab the rope. Whoa. All right, damn, man. I didn't get to talk to him. Crap. Oh, thanks. What? Oh, you try. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> my bow is brand new, so it, uh, it still needs to be broken in. Where did he get a bow? Did I miss the part where we got bows? <laughs> You're still here? I wonder what happened to that bridge. Mmm, morons, all of you. Wait, what about this guy? Uh, <laughs> my bow is brand new, so it, uh, it still needs to be broken in. Where did he get a bow? Did I miss the part where we got bows? Hang on, can I reload checkpoint? I want to see if I can talk to them. <clears throat> what about You're the little still guy? Here? Can't talk to him. It's lame. Yeah. Uh. Yo. <laughs> hey guy. <laughs> huh? Move aside. <laughs> I got this. Jeez, man. Didn't even have to try. Over here, buddy. <laughs> Yo, what a punk. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. And now we got to wait across. Give me a second. I have the perfect plan. Oh yeah? Well, you figure that out. I'm gonna actually cross. Pardon me. Oh my gosh. Yo, what a punk. Graham's just like, man, screw these guys, bro. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll figure this out. Alright! Okay. I have to go and try to get this thing unstuck. The tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hat. It gets a tad annoying. Mm. Huh? Yeah, I made a raft. Aww. <laughs> Gotta tie it up. Oh, 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 oh,
There we go. Paddle away. What the? What a cheater, bro. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Hang on a the sec. same path I did. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. Mm. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I could really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn flavored <laughs> jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? You. Yeah. <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. <laughs> if we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. Wow. Damn, bro. Let All me right. know how I can help. Oh, and do that too. <laughs> he doesn't even know how to start. He's like, what the hell? Oh, God. <laughs> gotta be a different way. So we gotta go over here to the left and climb up these rocks. All right. Let's explore a bit. Can't use that because I need the mouthpiece. There's really nothing else over here. I wonder where those guards are that were <laughs> running around here on top of each other. All right, let's go inside. Graham, to the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. Aww. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Hmm? Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, Pocket Boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting-to-know-you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker, before we start in on the usual death, destruction, and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. <laughs> in the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a make-up chivalry test if, and only if, the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Huh, I didn't hear about the date exchange. I don't know what extenuating means. My mom would have let me leave before I finished breakfast. <laughs> that one's funny. Well, my mom whipped up a stack of my special chocolate chip pancakes, and she never lets me leave the house until I finished all my breakfast. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in mommy's yeah. boy. <laughs> now... Go on, mingle with the other contestants. Find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. 
Alright, so now it's time to just talk to these dudes. And before I go and talk to the guard again. So I think the first person I'm going to talk to, I'm going to start from left to right. Talk to this big dude. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really, he gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those <laughs> nights were annoying me and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. We'll make it quick, then buzz off. Let's see, I'm Graham. I'm Graham. Graham Cr No. No last names. I don't even want your first name. And your name? Hmm? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference. But yeah. I am currently in the process of rebranding myself. Starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. <laughs> Acorn the Knight. What was your name again, Sir Fatso? Uh, oh, it's man. Acorn. Get it right or pay the price. <laughs> this is the same thing. What was your name again, Sir Balrus? Uh, it's Acorn. Get it right or pay the price. All right, what were you hiding in your hand? What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, Feather Boy. <laughs> feather Boy. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, String Bean. <laughs> Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, String Bean. All right, that's it. I'll leave you be. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Don't want to talk to you, man. The riches with Who's this guy, bro? My fingertips when it clasped shut. My arm was pinched between the treasure and its casing. I couldn't stay. If I did, I'd lose circulation and my limb would be lost. <laughs> if I tried to remove my arm, it would be sliced from wrist to elbow. I didn't have much time. Then, a sharp snort erupted through the shadows. It heard me. There were no options. If that treasure was to be mine, I had to sacrifice my arm for the good of the rest of me. I flung my pinched arm downward as hard as I could. The treasure shook inside, but my arm remained. Footsteps. No time to run. No time to think. Only <laughs> action! I jumped off Action. the wall and fell into a deep pit. A crash. Treasure everywhere. A yawn behind me. It was awoken. I scrambled to grab each piece and hurtled one into the darkness. Grrr! It called out in pain as I heard its body crash to the floor. Treasure in hand. I escaped and adventured onward. Oh, how delightful. And you escaped with all the treasure? Yes. I relished every last bit of that treasure. The flames danced right before my eyes. I couldn't go anywhere. They had me surrounded. I watched the flames grow, each ember reaching closer to my face. Then I knew there was a way out. I blew as hard as I could, countering that incendiary torture device and extinguishing each and every flame. The horde inched toward me, their cult-like call ringing through my ears. I leapt up and kicked one square in the throat, silencing his off-pitched blathering. Chill. The others, shocked by this, this guy. sight, silenced themselves and bowed down to the hero you see standing in front of you. Hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. <laughs> What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And uh, of course I know who you are. You're... you're... Sir Ten of himself, that jerk who pushed me into the river. Gonna have to wait, I'll be right back. Every woman's dream. I'm gonna go with A first. That jerk who pushed me into the river. Oh yeah, 
Yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what you need, Gail, is an upgrade. <laughs> like my mane of excellence. Yo. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're... You're... Sir Ten of himself. Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... Every woman's dream. <laughs> Every woman's dream? Well, you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love... Ooh, yeah. Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's you. not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... Uh, you are... You're... Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. <laughs> Jeez, he said his name wrong like five times. Earth, the treasure that was with... I could feel the riches with the edges of my fingertips when it clasped shut. My arm was pinched between right. the treasure. Who's this guy? Hello. My name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Ah, Chaka. Ah, Chaka. <laughs> so, where do you hail from? Ah, Chaka. I see. <laughs> Sounds exotic. <laughs> so, um. What type of arrows do you fly with? A chaka. Nice, <laughs> nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? A chaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. Damn. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? A chaka. A -chaka. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> You'd probably just slow me down. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. Okay, so what can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Damn, man. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. What can you tell me about a chaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance, but the translation isn't quite working. <laughs> All right, Acorn. What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bull horns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this. But I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his what belly. The what kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine mm -hmm. what else he's hiding under there. <laughs> Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. Okay. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. 